go! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. It is 100 degrees right now. I didn't plan on doing this video, um, but uh, something just popped up on my feed, and it gave me a good idea. So we're gonna get right into it, no BS today, and we're gonna start from the bottom and work our, our way up, and I'm not gonna try to have uh, very many cuts in this video, so y'all know it ain't cut. There ain't no plan here. I just got a lot to say. Okay. So, again, no BS. Wasn't planning on doing this video. But I think it needs to be talked about. Um, a lot of you long-term viewers have seen uh, my progression over the last... Well, five years on YouTube, right? And uh, the off-season content is hard for me, so you guys know that. But, you know, September through the hunting season, waterfowl hunting season, the views are much different. So, we'll get into that. The number one question I get asked is a few things. Number one, uh, hey Bob, uh, me and my buddy started a small YouTube channel and we want to know how to get sponsored or hey Bob do uh, you guys at Ducks do have an ambassador program or hey Bob um, do you at Sand Hill have any room for new guides I'm 19 um, want to chase my dream like you I learned everything I know pretty much about duck and goose hunting or I learned so much more from you get out of here um, than I ever thought I would and I want to be an apprentice and just come learn for free and help sit spreads every day for three and a half months right so you can tell I'm sweating it is hot this is the coolest part I have that's not in the house so the old flower chair yeah we haven't done a video in the old flower chair I thought that this was a perfect situation to do such a deep video so um, first off if you're new and you're looking for sponsorships number one you can reach out easiest way Instagram social media DM them say hey this is what we do have some examples um, have some links handy you can't just say hey this is what we do we need to have some pictures some current pictures and you need to have a link to your YouTube channel available so they I'm sweating it is 103 degrees out so they can click on it and go right to it, right? Number one, if you get to a certain size where you're getting really good views during the hunting season, and I don't care if it's fishing season and you're a bass fisherman, a deer hunter during you know big game season, or waterfowl like myself, I don't. When you get to that point where you have some big videos hit, you know, say they go 80k or they go viral or they just you know, they do real good at 20 or 40k, you know, that's huge, especially for youtubers um under like 10k i would say i'm just trying to make it a broad deal here even up to 50k i'd say you 50k guys to 100 you got to be greedy and what i'm saying so this we're going to the next level you got to be greedy all you guys that are smaller just know that you're in the field doing the work not the marketing team of the company you're working for they're not out there doing that. Some of them are. Now, first off, number one, all the brands I work with, um, I'm not talking about you guys. I, I work with you all or talking to you right now to work with you all for a reason. I trust you. Uh, but there is small businesses out there that want to give you free product and just demand for two years or three years just product. You know, They're not willing to pay for you to have your six thousand dollar camera out there and providing hunts or paying for hunts or out there scouting how expensive is gas now so how much gas does it take for any of y'all to go on private land find it get permission <clears throat> and hunt it and provide photos video on youtube where it gets a lot of views out of nowhere or whatever right it's a lot of input gas is expensive now our time is expensive so first off i just want to say all you smaller guys wanting to get in the industry 
just know that the more you can keep it uh, personal and small, you know, like my channel started out, I've done my best on my channel to teach people what I know and to talk about safety. Safety, safety. Not just gun safety. Safety in the ice, not drowning in your waders. Um, dog safety, not getting your dog killed by sending him out on an ice layer and he falls through and you can't get to him and it's 20 foot deep. Um, gun safety for all the young individuals or my age individuals that are getting into the sport for the first time. This, this bug, hold on a minute. You did, that boy did right there. Um, I do my best to to promote safety on all levels. Just like in the A-frames, I'm always talking, hey, you have your gun leaning there, it can fall over at any time. A dog can knock it over. If you're laying in the spread, a dog can step on your gun. A lot of companies don't talk about this. The companies are the first ones that should be talking about it. I'm not blaming companies for this, and I'm not talking directly to any of y'all as companies, but the hunting industry is doing this on social media. I'm right now banned on TikTok because I showed I can't do anything on there. I can view, then that's it. I don't think it'll even let me respond to comments. Definitely won't let me post. I tried today. And it wasn't because I shot a gun. It was because there is a mount. All my mounts in the lodge hanging from the ceiling. It was in the background. So that's that. Um, and my TikTok has been going insane. It got One video got 1.4 million views in a week. So it's just been slapping and now with that amount of viewage they're like, oh he's, he's hunting related. <clears throat> so, uh, moving on. When you get bigger guys, things change. Things change. Um, thank God for ducks. Thank God for Guggen, Bucks, House of Outdoors. Um, Andrew, Austin, Brad, my main fellas who I've been in business with, who have um, been my partner, my friend, fair, never, never unfair. Thank God for ducks. But when you go to other companies that you didn't build or don't have a standhold in, it gets really, really, really tough. So you've seen me work with companies and now I don't. You've seen me work with people and now I don't. Just know that... <clears throat> A lot of those decisions, um, I don't want to say were out of my hands, but I didn't feel like it was right. So if it was my fault, their fault, vice versa, whether it's a company or a person, things fell through. And I have always, um, I've always tried to pass on the model and um, what I know works is to be confident in, in yourself. Confidence is everything. If you don't have confidence, you don't get anywhere in life. You will never get any, you, I shouldn't say that, that's wrong. If you don't have enough confidence, you may not be able to get to where you want to go or where you need to go. Be confident and just know a sponsorship may not be the coolest thing. And I'm here to tell you that. Maybe the coolest thing is to go out and try to make the best videos you can and put in the work for free to build your subscribers or your company or your, your social media presence, whatever it is that you want to do to a level to where people got to pay you for your stuff, right? That's the way it should go. A lot of us are out in the field doing the work doing the footwork, talking to the farmers. It's, it's a lot of work, it's a lot of input. So just be, uh, just be self-conscious like, and I know through the last five years, the industry has kind of grown out of like, just a lot of you viewers and younger gentlemen knowing like, um, sponsorships aren't as what they used to kind of seem to be in theory. They're so cool. I think it's kind of gone away a little bit, but with social media and people being able to grow themselves, but uh, there's a lot that I'm trying to answer here. If you get what I'm saying, I've had a lot of questions regarding companies that I don't work with. A lot of you that 
have been around know what I'm talking about. And people that I've been real close with and helped or they've helped me and why we don't associate anymore and why we don't do certain things together anymore. So um, this is all kind of in a bubble. Um, I have nothing against anyone out there whatsoever. I have, I have no regrets. I know that I protected myself through through everything, whether it was good or bad, and um, it is what it is, it's life, but you have to stand up for yourself, you have to look out for yourself, you have to worry about yourself first, unless it's your family, your wife, your children, um, your best friends, you know, that's what I've learned over the last five years, it, it, three and a half years ago, it was hard for me to think, because this thing got so big, now I'm 35, and now, going through all this I will tell you that uh, I know that a lot of you and I've said this in the comments then deleted it ask about a certain thing and I'm in and, and my response is this is a certain thing meaning the drama factor whether it's a company I'm not working with or whatever another person and my response is all the time like what's why 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 do you why do people want to know the drama all the time? I'm not out here to talk about my drama or someone that I was affiliated or work with in business, their drama as a man. A man's business is a man's business. This is not Jerry Springer. This channel is a hunting channel where I get to teach the world how to duck hunt. Whether you know more than me or not, that's, I don't care. If you want to be here, if you don't, that's up to you. But. This is not Jerry Springer. I will not talk about drama on here. Um, but I do want to make people aware that people that are trying to get into the industry, just know what you're doing. Try to go out there and make the best videos you can and don't worry about a company. I think people in general, whether it be TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, they want real. They just want real. They want to see people laughing. They don't want a big ad advertisement, right? No one does. It sucks having all those ads on YouTube and you got to skip them in five seconds, right? I know, I know, but whew, I think I got some stuff off my mind. I hope I answered some questions. This is an abrupt video that I did not plan on doing and uh, I hope that I, I did it right. Thank you all.